This is Pat Gunn, and uh, we're playing Skyrim. So the more observant of you will probably have noticed that I am missing one of the videos on my YouTube uh, channel. And there is a silly reason there. And I have somehow managed to glitch uh, the upload process in YouTube. And unfortunately, because these videos are big, I've been deleting them as I go along, and so I ended up losing one of the episodes of this. Sorry about that. Um, in a later video, I might go back and try and figure out what was lost, although I'm not going to worry about that too much. So the one thing that we're... Whoa! What is going on? Okay, we have... Oh, there's a giant spider. Okay, I actually... I would like to capture its soul, if I can manage. Okay... Blade, sword in left hand, shield in right hand. Unfortunately... I'm taking... A little bit more damage than I would like. Well, actually, I mean, you always prefer not to take damage, but what I mean is that I'm taking enough damage that I'm threatening my survival. So, heal back off a little bit. Okay, so Jazargo actually has fallen down. Fortunately, he has survived. That is one of the things that you need to be a little bit careful about in Skyrim. In that your followers, they're not super easy to kill. And monsters will generally leave them alone when they become injured enough. But if you aren't careful, you might end up killing yourself. Now, that's more of a problem if you're using spells that happen to have area effects. Okay, let's just make sure that we're not going to have one of those giant uh, spiders drop from the ceiling on us. Sweet, conundrum more. But they can be killed by poison, and some powerful enough enemies like dragons can set them on fire, and that less little bit of health that th they uh, cling to um, can be exhausted. So be careful with your followers, and as soon as you can, you should probably get them better gear than what they start with. So let's see, where are we? Okay, so we are going to keep on going. Now this up here might be cuttable spider web. Let's find out. Yeah, looks like it. Cool. And... Ah, this is where it is. A giant spider, I think, drops from the ceiling here, and it is pretty terrifying. Oh, Jusargo, don't push me out. Not cool. Uh, let's get our shield up. Shield up, Captain. And we are going to shout it. I'm going to try and shout, but we seem to be kind of glitched. And we have used our shield pretty effectively. And we have killed Nimhi, who is our foe of the day. I'm kind of curious, though, why my shout didn't work. Okay, now it works. Well, I hope we won't develop that as a habit that our uh, most important things will not work just when we need them, because that's not a good habit. Let's cut this down, and hey, Jazargo, how are you doing? Okay, you're looking okay. We are going to progress forward into the actual dungeon. We could head back and, uh, and talk to, I think his name is Kelsemo, and let him know that we killed the giant spider. But it is a lot more fun to 
proceed onward. We're going to muffle ourselves. And now we'll keep Soul Trap in our left hand and our sword in our right. Uh, maybe we should keep Candlelight in our right. So this is a trap. And it causes that spiky blade thing to swing. Now sometimes your followers will trigger traps, so you want to be careful with that. You want to keep very aware of what your travel, uh, what your companion is doing. That is a Falmer. So I mentioned earlier that there is a race of uh, oh, neat place to pause the game. The, uh, that this area is a war zone. And the Thalmer are former snow elves that were captured, well not captured, they they took refuge with um, with the Dwemer at some point in the distant past. And uh, the Dwemer made them take poisons in order to reduce their intelligence and make them not a threat before they would take them in because they were being attacked by another nation. And eventually they kind of devolved into monsters with human form. In the sense that they no longer have a language and they are considerably less intelligent than uh, than any of the other critters in uh, or any of the other human-like races in the game. Now they still are pretty intelligent and they use poisons and fun stuff like that, but because they don't speak... Okay, just Argo. Would have been nice if you would have packed me up there, but I guess that's not what you, you are prone to do. Yeah, so they still do some alchemy, but they don't talk, and they actually by the way that soul gems do classification, they are not intelligent. So clearly there's some flexibility here. There's another one. Gisardo, you gonna back me up this time? Where are you? Okay, you're back there. Let's see if... Okay. One, two, and... I'm actually going to try and soul trap this guy if Jazargo will let me get close to him without just uh, killing him first. Sweet. Ear, weak poison. Now, unfortunately, their swords are all pretty weight value inefficient, so I don't normally pick up any Dwemer gear, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, any Falmer uh, gear. Whoa, hello, Chisargo. I did not mean to do that. Take that, Mr. Falmer. I did hear Jizargo calling out. I hope he has not been killed. Jizargo? Oh, good. You're just hiding back there. I will heal myself up. And we are going to keep on proceeding through... Area. Now this area is a gigantic cavern with all these different layers, and we could have gone different ways through here, but you have to pick some uh, some way to do this. Okay, and there's some enemies up ahead, maybe. Oh, there's a Falmer right here. How did that happen? Well, let's soul trap him. And it seems like he's more interested in me than he is in Chisargo. Well, can I get a level up? 
Well, that is useful. Let's take my health to 200. Um, I don't yet have enough. Don't yet have enough recovery to take the recovery perk. Or don't have enough restoration to take the recovery perk, which is a pity because it's a really useful perk. Let's see, illusion. So this is a great perk, and we're going to keep on working our way towards it. Uh, problem is, there are some perks in between that are not so useful, but I'm just going to keep on pressing through. because it is such a nice perk that you really don't want to uh, deal without, uh, without it if you can. Basically, when we have it, it'll mean that casting spells will not make any noise, which will mean that we no longer have to worry about alerting monsters so much. Aha. Uh, there is another Falmer. Let's gift him with an arrow. And maybe another arrow. Oh, shoot, there are two Falmer. Jizargo, do you really have to? Oh, Jizargo, I don't think we need... Okay. There's another one. Okay, now you can see how awesome that weapon is that I have given Jizarga. So I'm going to need to get him some better gear at some point. I mean, I don't actually want him using, uh, using melee weapons. But I do, uh, I do want to get him some stuff that will uh, improve his spell efficacy. So yeah, this is another one of those tough choices. We can either head downstairs or stay up. I'm going to head downstairs. Let's see. Let's brighten up the area a little bit. Switch back to the bow. Okay, so this is our two Falmer that we shoved down here. I just ate one of those Falmer ears rather than... Uh, rather than just picked it up, which is why you saw that effect. Okay. We probably will be seeing Dwemer Automata sometime soonish. There is another Falmer up there that I'm going to hit and hit again. Sweet. And at this point, we really do need to switch to... Switch to... Okay, Jizargo, I hope you're doing okay. Let's switch to Soul Trap and run up and... Now we're going to switch back to the shield. Sweet. So we're getting some nice uh, souls from this uh, from this adventure. And a decent supply of alchemy ingredients, too. You doing okay? Yeah. Good. And I'm probably being a little bit more careful than I need to be with Jizargo because I don't actually know how, uh, how much damage he can take. Generally in the past I've stuck to, um, I've stru uh, stuck to companions that cannot be killed. And there are several companions that are like that where they're considered essential to the plot of the game and so the game just considers them unkillable, which is great because it's just one less thing to worry about.
but let's see, looks like somewhere up ahead. The itsy bitsy spider went up the one other spent. Okay, nobody else is within sight. So let us continue through. Yeah, so the Dwemer have a kind of neat design aesthetic. This stuff is not gold, it is an unknown Dwemer uh, material. And most of this stuff you can actually melt down to turn it into raw uh, Dwemer metal. You'll notice that your companion tends to mirror your level of armedness, which is handy. Uh, Dwemer shield. The game's pretty inconsistent as to whether it calls them dwarves or Dwemer. I will generally probably call them uh, Dwemer. But yeah, I'm, I'm not actually grabbing a lot of the uh, the Dwemer stuff yet, because there's a lot of other stuff here that you probably want to grab, and I don't want to fill up on the Dwemer stuff. Not yet, anyhow. Okay, so here is a member of the expedition. Who got killed by Dwemer? And he dropped some of his gold here, so we'll move the bucket. And he actually managed to kill the person who killed him, so presumably they both took mortal wounds. Okay. So we're gonna keep on moving. We're going to keep Soul Trap ready for facing the next Dwemer. Well, I'm not seeing anybody yet. It does kind of slow you down. Wait, was I just here? No, because if I were, I would have looted these guys. So as part, uh, one of the cool things about the game, it will try to scale the number of critters that you uh, that you face to your uh, your strength. So, if you show up in a dungeon and you're not quite up to the uh, and you're under leveled, then it will make sure that some of the creatures that uh, that you'll find have already been killed by fighting with each other. If you're high leveled, then most of them will be alive and out to get you. Okay, so we've taken care of everything that we can up here, I think. So we're going to head back down, and uh, we're going to do it without the problem of inadequate light. I get the feeling that Phil from Dilbert might appreciate this area. And we'll head back up. And which way was I going? Straight ahead. Okay. Back to Soul Trap. Let's duck down and see what is going on. Okay. Spinning gears. So yeah, when you think about it, it's pretty amazing that these guys... I don't know if I can Soul Trap from this far away. Probably not. But can't hurt to try. Oh, this is a Falmer Skulker, which is a higher level Falmer than, uh, than a lot of the others. But still vulnerable to a one-hit kill. Sweet. That certainly made the fight easy. Didn't get a soul from it, although I'm not sure how many soul gems I have that are big enough. So this is what a Falmer Gate looks like. A lot of them are locked. Fortunately, I just lucked out and didn't need to futz around too much uh, much to find the right position. And this is what a Falmer chest looks like. 
And this is another enchantment, which I think I already know. Potions, steel helmet, weight five, value 125. That is a great bargain. Oh, shoot, shoot. Lots of Falmer have found me. Fortunately, I managed to dodge that. Let's see if I can sh shout them all down. Shout, shout, let it all out. Please. Okay. That's one less Falmer. This Falmer has a shield. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Good thing I spotted that. And that takes us back to full health, just about. And let's go ahead and poison our weapon while we're here. And I'm almost dead again. So yeah, these guys are well armed and well equipped. And uh, this battle is not going super well. Oh, those, there's three of them. That's part of it, I think. I did not notice that there are three. Unfortunately, that does po uh, pose a bit of a problem for me. And Juzargo is not doing his part. Okay, there's fewer of them now. I'm still... Okay. I'm gonna have to heal up. Okay, that was an ugly battle and it chewed through most of my potions. But I survived, barely. And I think what I might have just learned is that I may be a little bit underleveled for being down here. Or at least I need to take a lot more care not to be overwhelmed by uh, numbers such as that. So why do I, do I have anything I really don't want to have with me? Oh, I thought I would have sold anyhow. No, I don't have any Thalmer stuff. Okay. But yeah, uh, that went very poorly. Chewed through most of my potions, but I'm still alive. Um, I'm gonna save the game, but keep going. Hopefully I won't... This won't be a waste of time. But I'm gonna sneak a little bit more, because facing so many Thalmer at once is clearly disastrous. And if it happens again, I will probably either have to run away or I will be dead. Okay, that's another Falmer. Oh, and that is another not so itsy bitsy spider. And up there is another Falmer that is using magic. Oh shoot, this is not going all that well. Plus that's a Thalmer Skulker. So, sword... No, sword in the right hand. Shield in the left. Hopefully we can manage this. gonna back off a little bit and do I have any way to well that's not so helpful but this will help a little bit let's resist some magic and I'm gonna actually heal really quickly and then switch back to my sword okay Okay, that took care of him. 
But there's another Thalmer who is throwing fireballs. And let's restore my Magicka again and then use it to heal one more time. Sword in right hand, shield in left, and quickly... I hope that, that Jazargo isn't dead. Got the staff. No, Jazar goes alive. That is good to see. See, I really don't know how fragile followers are. I would be kind of sad to have Jazar go die, both because I find him kind of funny as a character and because of all the characters in the game, he's one of the ones who will level with you all the way up to the top level. So his potential doesn't peak. So having him die at a low level like this would really suck. Okay, so how are we doing? We are doing okay. We're hearing more of the sound of machinery. And I'm worried that there will be more Falmer ahead soon. Let's see. What is through this door? This door leads back into the main area. And this area... Is it some kind of storage? And does it have any enemies in it? I don't see any enemies. Okay, looking good. Let's empty out the chest. And, uh... Yeah, so that's about it. We could head out the door. Okay, let's find out what's what's out here. A chest. Well, that's good. Full soul gem, potion, Elven bad lacks, that's fun. And a circlet. So we're getting kinda of full on on stuff here. So what is this? This appears to be a platform that does not have any connection to anything else. So it's a good vantage point and we're safe. So if we saw any foes, we would be pretty safe trying to kill them from here because they would have no way of getting at us but we don't see any such foes. Wait, did I leave something? Oh, I left a fork in there. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we just basically popped out to visit that chest which is cool but not useful. So there's not a lot left that we have to do here. It would be helpful if we um, could find these other journals. I don't actually know what the reward is. It might just count as a favor towards being able to buy property. Which is still useful. The, the house here uh, in Markarth is pretty neat. But the problem is that Markarth is such a vertical area that it's not super easy to get around. Well, actually, what we could do... You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Jezargo only has so much room for carrying things. I will give him a torch. I think I have a spare torch. And he might end up carrying it. Lead on, friend. No, maybe not. Okay. So we will keep on going. But yeah, Markarth is such a vertical area that um, 
it's not exactly easy to, uh, to move around in it. And that means that you have to, uh, it's, just, it's kind of a hassle to, to live here. The, the ideal, uh, the things that you really want out of a house in a city are easy access to uh, crafting tables. And ideally, the crafting uh, table should, um, so we could go either way here. We could can go all the way down the path to the water, or we could keep on walking this way. So you want easy access to, uh, to crafting tables. And if, if you can actually um, buy crafting all the crafting tables that you want in your house, that's great. Not all of the houses can take the same things. OK, I'm not seeing anything that interesting down here, but it's probably the same heading downhill that the other. Uh, okay, so down here is a potion and another potion. Okay, Aegis Argo. Anything interesting? Not that interesting. Nothing that neat here. Yeah, so as, as I said, Markarth is just too hilly. And that means that you're going to be making a lot of effort if you frequently wander between the house and, say, the smithing area. Okay, not that exciting, still useful. And here's another door, which I don't think we've been through. So let's check it out. And apparently there is something questy behind the door, maybe another member of the excavation team. But we definitely want to have our bow out, and we want to be careful so that we don't, don't end up fighting a whole bunch of Falmer at the same time again. I'm going to do, I'm going to fire a bow just to get some, to get my enemies interested in me, which will be helpful in pacing this out. Jizargo. Hopefully sweet. These guys look like pin cushions. Although partly because the arrows that I'm using are not all that effective. If they were then ideally these guys would be dying in just a few hits. Let's keep on checking that out. What else is there going on up here? Is there anything over here? Nope, not really. Hmm. Okay, that's got two Felmer, probably Felmer, might be, no, that looks like a spider up there, so probably one Felmer and a spider, got a Felmer and a spider interested in me. So, eventually they will probably... Get a sword, shield, and sword. See if I can trap another. Okay. And I caught two souls. Sweet. And how you doing, Jisago? 
Looks like he is okay. I'll heal up and then get myself a little bit more light. Sword in right hand, soul trap in left. Okay, did I? Yeah, I did loot that. Okay. Let's duck down again. Okay. So we have a fork in the path. We can head up or we can head down. Let's see. Uh, I'm kind of curious what's down. Let's head down first. Oh. That is a trap, I believe. And Jizargo has managed not to trigger it. It's another trap. And let's see what is going on over here. Oh. Okay, these statues make me a little bit nervous. But it looks like they really are statues. This is another another one of the research team. And he has a staff. We're getting kind of full on stuff here. This is hopefully, yeah, just a statue. That's good. So war axe, a lot of gold. Sweet, so lots of good stuff here. But I am nervous. Uh-oh. So these guys are tough. And they have pretty good magic resistance. And they hit hard. Which is the magic list of things that you don't really want in foes you're facing. So I'm going to hop down and hope that they don't follow me. And I will heal myself up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Jizargo. I seem to have left him in a dangerous position. I don't think he's smart enough to jump down after me, so I probably need to uh, open the path so that my foes will be able to come to me so that, so that they will not kill him. Maybe. Okay. That's... We will find out. Okay. And I will be ready to jump down if I have to. Let's do some quick healing here. And, oh, jerk. I need him dead really quickly. Okay, that's one down. Uh, I don't know where the other one went. Unless, oh, maybe they both died. I still can't search them. Maybe these guys actually don't have anything on them, which is fine. Wow. That Falmer has definitely seen better days before his head, uh... Okay, that was a terrible, terrible joke. Let's see, is there anything? No. So the Dwarven Spheres are actually empty. Normally they have some goodies in them that are quite nice goodies. Expert level lock. Okay, well, let's see if if we can get this guy open. Aha, so it is off to the left most of the way. As you level a lockpick, the tolerance for getting the position slightly wrong improves. Okay. That's all we're going to get from here. And uh, here's an expert level one. Not sure. 
So it might take us a little bit of time to get this guy open. And what we do seem to be getting kind of near our time for this video. Aha, so it is mostly to the right. Just a little bit, let's see if it's a little bit further. And got it, sweet. Dwarven gauntlets, helmet. Oh, so a whole lot of Dwarven stuff. Now one of the fun things about Jazargo... Here you found some thing in Sartor. You think Jazargo only... Jazargo happens to like heavy armor. So we're actually going to give him this uh, Dwarven stuff that, uh, that we found. And shield because being a light armor character ourself, <laughs> wow, that looks uh, goofy. So we're at 345 out of 375. I don't really like hiding his face because a lot of the personality comes from his facial expressions. But it is a price worth paying. At least for now. Later on, maybe we'll try and get find another way to uh, or find another helmet. So we're overburdened now. This is a common problem that you'll have uh, when you're in ruins. Uh, when you're in ruins, particularly Dwemer ruin, uh, ruins. So don't need an iron dagger, and it is costs value inefficient. Let's drop the, uh, the axe. We can find another one at some point. And I think we came from here. Yep, we did. So what else is there to do? We have two more journals to get. Both of them are better done by going this way than the other way. But I think we're go uh, going to break off uh, the, uh, this video here. So I will see you in the next uh, Let's Play.